sun's gone in so I just thought I'd walk around this little bed um, it's garlic potatoes and onions and uh, just a few Brussels sprouts so well here I keep trying to put squash and the birds keep pulling them out I put big uh, sticks over them let me show you I had these all arranged over them they actually pick these up and throw them and there, there's one that you can see pecked. They've left that one. Um, I suppose there's, you know, they're just pecked. There's nothing left to these things. And so they're all gone. I'll probably stick some more in, but they're not gonna make it. So I've got the three types of potatoes planted. The, uh, no, I got four, I think. I've got the red chieftains, the purple chieftains, the red norlands, these are the red norlands. They're the early, so they're coming up quicker. Um, I think this one's the purple chieftains. And then I've got my purple Peruvian, the fingerlings. And this is my, oh, tiny, tiny, tiny pencil thin leeks. I see a squash there I'm trying to grow. That's not gonna come. You might have seen where I was trying an experiment with these toilet rolls to see if that would allow the um, leeks to thicken because unless you have clay soil um, the hole fills in immediately but look what the crows are doing they don't like them they don't want me to have them so they're pulling them out see here's one they pulled out yesterday so probably won't be able to see how that experiment goes Anyway, then here's some garlic with some volunteer red mustard and a volunteer lettuce there too. Don't know where they came from. Garlic's doing well. I think they're on their eighth leaf. So here in Newfoundland, all of us, I'm on gardening sites here, so all of us are pretty much the same. These come up the very end of July or the 1st of August, depending on how wet your weather is. We wait till half the leaves die back. Take the scapes off. Here again in Atlantic Canada, we use, um, it's the porcelain, well the hard neck garlic. We, I like the porcelain. This is um, music garlic. It grows quite well here. So you never know what's underneath there. Oh, my husband started the lawnmower. Until you pull them, but so far, so good. They're starting to lose the chlorophyll at the top. There's a name for that, which I don't know. Chlorophyllitis or something. Uh, but they're doing okay. And my onions. I just have regular yellow, hardy, bulb ones. And over here I've got a mixture of red and yellow. They're coming along okay. We've had an awful lot of rain no warmth whatsoever we're weeks behind I would say a month by now and just some poor struggling uh, Brussels sprouts these are ones I put out well, way before our ice storm and it, they've unbelievably weathered the nastiness we have not had heat it's just crazy this is some Egyptian walking onions so um, they were sort of nicely planted in a row, but the birds have moved those around and I've stuck them back in. And so being as hardy as they are, they, they'll come up. And here's some bunching onions, which are going yellowish. I may have to test and pull some. What you do here is you just pull the largest first and leave the rest. And they will bulb. They are at the top. They are different. Almost like, um, I think they call it the Welsh onion. few things here. Just a quick glimpse of Bruce using his scythe. He'll kill me if I, he knows I've done this. We've just got this horrendous invasive plant here. So he's trying to take it out. It will come back, but we'll just keep doing it. So this is uh, after my husband's uh, cutting out here. And then he took a mower 
I don't know how because this is completely wild. I'm sure our mower won't be uh, much good to us now. But uh, once he starts, he can't stop. He did a good job though, it's nice and clear. So, Greta's garden. More like Greta doesn't have a garden. Again, due to not to be unexpected, we live on a coastal uh, climate here and um, some years are good and some years not so good. So June, as I mentioned, has been freezing, just freezing, right off. Uh, we didn't have frost, we didn't have snow. That's interesting, but we did not have a single day of warm weather. And uh, today is supposed to be the first day that, at least up here on my little plateau, that we hit 22 degrees. We have not hit that yet, but uh, something could blow in and, and you never know. Warm weather could actually hit us. Um, but I was getting excited and I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm just going to show you the seedlings. Don't get excited. This is not a great garden reveal here. Just, uh, But it's more, it will be a log for me. Uh, for next year to see uh, where things were at this time and where they were not. Uh, I've lost a lot of plants and um, to everything. Slugs, birds, uh, star, uh, I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's uh, starlings, uh, crows, um, and the slugs of course have wiped out cucumbers, squash. I have no more cucumber. I'll try a bit more but it's very late here and I don't know that I'll see any successes but I'll keep trying even if I get one from each plant maybe who knows so uh, quickly show you my beds okay just one of the last beds I think that I seeded so I've got some peas here I'll get some poles up um, and string it up as um, they come along I think I've got beets and some carrots and I don't know what's in here. I tend not to label. Some celery plants that died but the roots have survived and uh, shoots came up. Squash replants. These are not the originals. The originals have been taken out either by weather or as I mentioned the birds and uh, not the birds, slugs took them all out. So that's the, oh look I'm growing glasses. There's a trick. Here's uh, this was a squash bed, it was to be mostly, and they're all gone. There's one surviving there, just a new leaf has come up, and it's obviously, yeah, I don't know, light green from the lack of warmth. So, uh, But there's a lot of seeds I'm stuck in here now, so we'll see how those come along. This is a brassica bed, largely. Um, some of the plants did survive. Many did not, and so there's a lot of seedlings in there, or seed starts that uh, hopefully will come up. I've got some, actually a question. This is my broccoli rab, or rapini as I call it. But look at it. <laughs> it doesn't look good either. And it didn't suffer from heat, that I can tell you. But it looks like it's almost bolting rather than being what it should be. Anywho, some didn't germinate, but I'll pick these anyways, make something out of them, stir fry them. I'm not a fan of rapini, to be honest, but um, I'm going to keep trying to love it. The bitter, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll like it. Anywho, that's that bit. And this is the bed that was not meant to make it anyway, but I'm still going to try, and there's no seedlings in there. So this was tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant not wise choice in Newfoundland. The beans, I showed you those before, so I won't spend much time. I erred here, um, and I knew it at the time actually. There's way too much nitrogen in this soil, and beans don't need it. So I thought, nah, it'll all wash out and they'll be okay. But um, I don't think they're looking as healthy as last year, but it could be the weather. This is a lot of seeds that either blew away, so I have to find the holes and see what I might be able to start in there. Um, 
radish. I'll come back to those in a bit. And then I've got some uh, parsnips and celery and leeks and uh, beans at the end. I've got some Malabar spinach that hopefully will come up. I'm not going to waste time showing you what's not really doing much there either. And same, this bed really, uh, actually it's very much the same. I have parsnips. That whole section up there blew away. We had, I watered them in, it's parsnip and carrots and the, so this whole square section there. Uh, then we had four days of hurricane winds, pretty much. Well, I exaggerate, but very, very bad winds. You couldn't go outside. And it dried and the whole top layer of soil blew away. There went my parsnips. Anyway, and this is just a strawberry bed, but they're coming now. They're also behind a few weeks, but uh, I think they'll grow in anything. So they should be coming along. And they're an all season strawberry, so that should be fine. Question for anyone, is this a weed I'm growing or is this a plant? It looks not like a weed to me. Any help appreciated. I'm just going to gather some greens stuff for uh, lunch, salad, and but I wanted to show you the white icicle radishes. If you've never grown them, they're just, they're so... Oh my goodness, if they could survive my weather here, imagine what they can do where some of you live. They um, grow very, very fast. The leaves don't seem to get hurt by other like pests, flea beetles or whatever it might be that bothers some of the others. They just are survivors and uh, they, they grow really well. So I'm just going to pull a couple for the salad and I'll show you them. So. These are a summer radish, not a winter one. But look how healthy the leaves are. And look how well they grow. Aren't they beautiful? Let's pull another one. Aren't they pretty? They're just, uh, they grow so fast. So, uh, just wanted to show you those. I'm going to go ahead and pick a few more greens for lunch. There we go. A little picking of salad from my piddly wee garden. Uh, but it's lunch. I'll end with the distant iceberg since my garden was so sad. Because icebergs always look pretty. <laughs>